My name is Dan Reese from ZabranoWoodcraft.com and in this tutorial I will show you my process for creating a metal ring with a wooden inlay. For this project I used a steel ring liner from TheBangleGuy.com and a red buckeye bill knife scale from Emberleaf.com. I began by measuring the outside diameter and width of the ring blank so I could use my powers of deduction to work out how much wood I'd need. The diameter of wood required was 21mm and the width of the inlay was actually 7mm. So with my measurements done I mounted my wood on the drill press and bored a hole with a 20mm paddle bit. I drilled the hole slightly smaller than required but sanded it until the metal ring blank fit nice and snug inside. Next I cut a rough shape out of the wooden blank on the scroll saw, just to take the edges off and make it easier to turn later. I needed a way to mount the wood on the lathe for turning, so I made a quick jam chuck from a piece of pine dowel. The jam chuck was a pretty good fit, but I also held the wood in place with a wine cork from the tailstock of the lathe. This method of mounting worked nicely and I got to work on my rough and gouge to make my basic ring shape. Then using a caliper I marked just over 7mm so I could see where the ring needed parting. I was going to use the parting tool but the thin wood looked pretty fragile so I actually used my drill press clamp and a fine tooth saw to cut the ring to size. With the rough wooden ring made, I did a bit of fine tuning with sandpaper to ensure the metal ring blank was a perfect fit. After a few test runs of assembling the ring, I was ready to glue up. I carefully applied a high viscosity super glue to the metal ring blank, inserting one section at a time into the wood. Both pieces of the steel ring slot together nicely and assembly was pretty easy as long as you work fast. With assembly complete, it was time for a quick coffee. Then I mounted the ring back on the lathe ready for shaping and finishing. I made a quick adjustment to the jam chuck and used chisels to shape the wooden ring. After shaping I sanded through a few grits to get a nice smooth feel to the wood. For finishing I wanted to enhance the colours of the grain uh, and decided against a thick membrane finish like CA glue so I could actually feel the texture and the smoothness of the wood against my skin. I just used a few layers of friction polish on this piece to keep it simple and preserve the feel of the wood. Finally, I scraped away any excess superglue with a craft knife and the end result was a beautiful tactile ring that I'll be wearing for years and years to come. Thank you for watching as always and if you like this video then you can help me out by hitting the like button or even sharing it on social media. And don't forget you can find many great wood turning project kits over at bangleguide.com uh, and amazing materials from my fellow craftsmen over at emberleaf.com. Uh, they also make kick-ass knives, by the way. So subscribe, and I'll keep the videos coming, and see you all in the next one. Peace!